But we begin tonight with the growing demand for COVID-19 tests amid the surge of cases across the nation. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Gutierrez. Good evening. I'm Christine Noel. You know, for some Texans, home tests are mm -hmm. still hard to find, but the Biden administration says they will make 500 million home tests available for households that request them beginning this month. And KPRC2 is here to help you find the testing site near you. Just in case, grab your camera and on your phone, flip it around and you can scan this QR code. It'll take you to our coronavirus testing guide where you can find a site near you. Our Michael Laparty is tracking new developments on testing and why some people still aren't getting their results. So Michael, what are you learning tonight? Chris, the company that operates this site just behind me here says that the influx of testing is playing a role and several people have also messaged us to share frustrations about other testing sites as well. When it comes to COVID-19 testing, some are feeling frustrated with the experience. The mayor said we're going to get new testing sites. We got them. But what good is it going to do if we can't get the results? Mary Lisa Simpson, who goes by Lisa, says she got tested on Friday at Minute Maid Park Lot C and was told her results would come in 24 to 36 hours. So that was Friday, the 31st. So today is the 3rd and still no results. Lisa told us her brother, who lives with her, recently tested positive, and she's not sure if what she's feeling is just allergies. She's hoping the test provides an answer. I would love to have my results. I want to go back to work. The Houston Health Department shared with us a statement from site operator Davico, which read in part, quote, our lab is experiencing delays in results due to the influx of test volume. We understand this has caused notification delays. Due to this increase in demand, our lab is now working 24 hours a day. We also heard heard frustration about testing at Worthing High School. I ranted all the way home because I said, this is ridiculous. Frances Coleman says her kids had an appointment and waited more than two hours before getting close enough to see the gate had locked. Well, one of the officers says, oh yeah, the system shut down. The system's overloaded. The system shut down. They've been having this problem all day today. You know, we're really sorry, but you can't get tested today. A spokesperson for HISD says that a system outage yesterday morning delayed testing by an hour at Worthing and Bel Air, but they haven't provided any other details. Meanwhile, Davico's statement says for folks who tested in the last five days, its lab is working as quickly as possible to process the results. And the company also said going forward, it's put a plan in place to get results out to those who tested no later than 72 hours after their visit. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Michael Lopardi, KPRC. Two news. And